Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a bottle of mead, wine, or spirits will drop by. We read what is on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open to see if it meets expectations. All right, what do we have here today? From the Woodstock Inn Brewery, now with 100% more New Hampshire. It's Woodstock, New Hampshire there, the Double Pig's Ear. Double Pig's Ear, right there. And what is it? It is a brown ale at 8.4% alcohol by volume, produced and canned by Woodstock Inn Brewery, North Woodstock, New Hampshire. All right, they tell us 8.4% uh, alcohol by volume. And what else have we got? Here we go. Uh, government warning that I shouldn't operate heavy machinery or be pregnant, so I don't have to worry about either one of those things. Okay, with twice the ingredients as our award-winning pig's ear ale, this smooth double brown ale is delicious. All right, so we've got a, a double brown ale. Twice the ingredients of their award-winning pig's ear ale. It's a brown ale, so I'm expecting something really dark copper colored. Uh, at 8.4%, it's gonna have a really hefty body. I'm wondering as to the hops, they don't mention the IBUs uh, that should be down in the description box below. And okay, well, what am I expecting? I'm expecting a brown ale copper colored, um, a nice two, two, two fingers head, uh, probably a lot more hops in the flavor than in the aroma. So, uh, or maybe, maybe a little bit, no, it's not gonna be sweet at all, no. The hops should be pronounced both in the hop, in the, uh, um, in the taste and in the aromatics as well. So, let's crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Notice we always use the same glassware for all of the beverages that we taste here. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. All right, here we go. Yes, the color is right on. Look at that. Oh, and we're getting a great hit on it. For brown, yeah, that's a little, can we, let's see. Yeah, look, there we go. That is a nicely done brown ale. Very nicely done as far as the color. It looks good too, as well. Now, most people, when they do their tastings, what they do is they take a look, they sniff, they sip, and then they let you know what they think. Well, what I do, I take a look, I sip first, and then sniff. Why? Because sometimes the olfactory nerves can lead the taste buds down the garden path, and that's not so good. Fred, Fred Dex, Master Sommelier Fred Dex, will explain it all to you. He does it a lot better than I do. Also, the right temperature for the beer. This is an ale, so it should be 40 to 45 degrees temperature. No, I'm sorry, 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a new Thermopen pop, I believe they call it a popsicle or lollipop. The link is down below for more information. And we are at... 44.4 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is a little cold for an ale. However, I will make accommodations for that. All right, the first swig. Cheers. You'll notice I did two swigs. The reason, the first, oh my. The first uh, uh, sip, uh, your taste buds have no idea what's going on. They're, they're asleep, they, they, they're hanging out. You hit them with something, oh, cold and wow, and what was that? 
<laughs> okay, fellas, relax. Have a second sip. Now they know what to look for. And then they can tell me. And, oh. Uh, I have, I've many, I've had many brown ales in my time, and this one is a little cool. However, the richness, the body, the slight sweet, but there is a hint, there's a hint of the hops in there that keeps it from going over the top. This has to be one of the best brown ales I have had in a long, long time. Wow. One more sip. Oh. Boy. But a nice piece of Stilton and a piece of crusty bread. And a good conversation. That's a way to spend an afternoon. Well, it does. Woodstock Inn Brewery, double pig's ear brown ale meet expectations? It certainly does. If you enjoyed this, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be appreciated. And I tell you what, leave something in the comments box so I know I'm going in the right direction. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers Meet expectations.